Hey everyone, and welcome back to Electroverse.ai. Today, we are diving into the new series, The World of Human Machine Interfaces HMIs, and getting hands-on with programming a Schneider Electric Harmony ST6. Get ready to transform that blank screen into a powerful control center. We will need the software to bring our HMI to life. Let's head straight to Schneider Electric S official website to download the latest version of EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. Once downloaded, we will install the software. This might take a few minutes. We have downloaded the Schneider ExoStructure Operator Terminal Expert 3.4 Service Pack Wow. All right, software fired up. Create a new project, click on the system architecture, target row one in the project explorer. We will define the target device as the Harmony ST6, specifically the HMIS6200 model with a 4 Hz 272 resolution. In the function tab, click on the transfer type as USB cable. Now, click on the system architecture, drivers, and select the USB driver under Schneider Modbus. Think of this driver as the translator between our HMI and any connected devices. Now comes the fun part, designing the user interface. Let's open the screen design, screens in the Project Explorer. Select the canvas and we can customize the background color. How about a sleek purple to make things pop? But HMIs are more than just pretty faces. They need to interact with data. So let's create an internal variable to store a number. Select variable under the Project Explorer. This variable will be the heart of our control system. We will set its data type as dint and link it to the Schneider Modbus driver we configured earlier. Time to build our control panel. We will use the tool chest. We can find the list of objects, labels, shapes, and images that can be added to the HMI. Let's drag and drop a text box onto the canvas. This will display the value of our internal variable. Select the text column and name it HMI test. We can even customize its text, color, and borders. I'm applying a transparent black to it. But just displaying a value isn't enough. We want control. So let's add some buttons, drag and drop a numerical value element and link it to our internal variable. This will show the actual value. Now we will drag and drop a switch, rename it increase 10 and link its function to the internal variable. With each press, this button will increase the value by 10. Think of it as an up arrow on our control panel. In the Functions tab, click on Operations. Set the operation as aid, source as 10, and the destination as variable. But what about decreasing the value? Simple. We will copy the button, rename it Decrease 10, and change its function to Subtract. Now we have complete control over our internal variable, just like a control knob. Before testing the program on the real HMI, let's test it out in the built-in device simulator. This acts like a virtual HMI, allowing us to see if everything works as planned. And look at that. Our value increases and decreases with each button press a success. Now, with active license, we can download the program directly to the Harmony ST6 series HMI. It is like uploading a new brain for our control panel. There you have it. We have programmed a basic HMI using Schneider EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. Drop a like and share it with your friends who are just starting out with PLC. See you next time with an awesome project on Electroverse.ai.